Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a quick case of a UCL, ulnar collateral ligament partial tear. And like so many other patients, he's got the classic history of a baseball player. He's in high school. He's a catcher but does some pitching and has this chronic pain on the ulnar aspect, and the orthopedic surgeon suggests or is worried about a UCL tear. And we did an arthrogram. You can see fluid in the joint here. Here's the radial head. This is the ulna. Now the ulna, the medial margin, is the sublime tubercle. That's where the UCL attaches. So you can see there's a vertical band coming down. This is the ulnar collateral ligament, and it attaches right here on the bone. If we go anteriorly, we see the anterior band of the UCL is vertical like this, comes down thin, and where it attaches here on the ulna, it looks pretty good. The bone wraps around. You can see the articular cartilage. There's no um, fluid extending between there, but if we start to go back, one more cut, still looks pretty good. As we come out up here, we see the UCL fan out. So the posterior band is has more of a fan, broad configuration. It attaches on a horizontal portion of the distal humerus here. And it can be really hard to tell if this is torn or not because it fans out and there's bright signal in it pretty regularly. But I believe this one is partially torn, the posterior band. If we go back one further, we're out of it. But I believe this is just a little more attenuated than I like, and I think a little fluid jogs that direction. So I believe they have a partial thickness tear, but this is very subjective. But what's not quite as subjective is the attachment to the ulna. So this is the UCL coming down, and this is the posterior attachment to the ulna at the sublime tubercle. Now we see this abnormal cleft of contrast going downwards between the cortex or periosteum here and the UCL. So this is a partial tear of the UCL from the sublime tubercle, that little bit of contrast coming down. Normally it'll be just like this, where it comes down, there's no fluid at the interface. But right here, it's partially stripped back a little bit, not completely torn. You can see some of the fibers intact. And the other thing we notice is there's a little bit of edema within the ulna, the sublime tubercle. So a partial tear and stripping up a little bit, and a little bit of edema at the sublime tubercle. There's no uplifted bone revulsion. Again, it's not ruptured. So thank you very much.